Welcome to the MasterCard Luxury Hotel Program, baby. That's right. I've been talking about this for the last couple of months. I've been trying to find a replacement for the Amex Platinum's fine hotels or resorts that you get on that card. And I think I finally found a replacement. And if you guys aren't familiar, over the past few months, I've been talking up MasterCard World Elite. More specifically on my built card, because it is a no annual fee card that gives you access to the MasterCard Luxury Hotel program. And I just happen to be in one right now. So I learned a lot during this entire experience. I'm going to go through the entire experience and everything I actually got and how it actually has technically exceeded fine hotels and resorts for this day specifically. And I guess if you just want a really quick answer on whether or not it's on par or exceeding FHR, well, in this case, it has exceeded. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll talk about it. If you're unfamiliar, over the past few months, I've been trying to figure out a replacement for American Express's Fine Hotels and Resorts program. You guys know the program. If you book through their program, you're getting a ton of amenities. More notably, you're getting a $100 experience credit that can be used towards like the on-site restaurant, the on-site spa. You're also gonna be getting daily breakfast for two, which typically comes in the form of like a $60 breakfast credit. You're also getting, you know, complimentary room upgrades when available, which happened very, very often for me. And then also you're getting guaranteed late 4 p.m. checkout. So a lot of different benefits, but if you guys also been following along, MasterCard's Luxury Hotel program can do all of that as well. <laughs> and boy, did it do it on this stay. If we take it from the top down, this is the Andaz Savannah, right in the heart of Savannah, Georgia, right pretty close to downtown that you can walk to it. And it's a Category 4 Hyatt Hotel, so a decent level Hyatt. To be completely honest with you guys, like I was pretty turned off coming to this stay. I mean, it was a little bit of a rundown area. The parking lot's very weird. It's kind of slummy. <laughs> A little bit coming here but the hotel really saved the entire stay for us like this place has gone above and beyond for us so i booked this stay with the mastercard luxury hotel program and if you look right here you can see i only spent 230 dollars out of pocket and yes that does actually include a 33 dollar destination fee that hyatt charges to everybody staying at this hotel unless you're paying with points or like a free night certificate so basically a 200 dollars hotel stay with a 33 dollars destination fee on top of it so total out of pocket is 233 dollars so far. If you look on the Hyatt app, you could have seen, I actually could have booked this exact same stay for around 12,000 to 15,000 Hyatt points, but I'm going to tell you guys, and I'm going to try to convince you in this video on why it actually was better to pay cash for the stay versus paying with points. I know it's kind of taboo, but I think paying for cash can make sense for a lot of people a lot of the time versus paying with points, but I'll, I'll get into it. And wait a second, what's that? All right, we just got a handwritten note and a welcome gift. Oh, wow, look at this, MasterCard pulling through, baby. Thank you. Here, you can show you. Thank you for choosing to stay with us at Onda Savannah. We hope you enjoy your stay with us and a treat on us, baby, let's go. We got a free welcome treat, let's see. Let's see what we actually got. So we got some. These, I think, are the same ones from the Waldorf. Oh, yeah. Same brand. So they must, they must commingle all their, you know, their uh, suppliers and whatnot. So we got the same chocolates, baby, let's go. That's pretty cool. Like, I did not expect that whatsoever. I didn't even realize on my sheet of paper it said, oh, here's an amenity gift. So they literally, you know, brought that up for us specifically. And that's a true testament to the service at this hotel. You guys might know, I really love the service at specific properties. Now, if you guys aren't familiar, when you book through MasterCard's luxury hotel program, they actually don't own the program like American Express would as well. Like, if you're booking with the Amex Platinum card, Amex Platinum has direct ties to the fine hotels and resorts program. Program, and that is the program they use, but MasterCard actually uses the programs associated with the hotels themselves. I know a little bit convoluted, but just so you guys know, like Marriott has a program called STARS, and that's their equivalent to FHR just with Marriott hotels themselves. So they can give you the $100 credit, daily breakfast at two, room upgrades, etc., etc. Hilton has Impresario, and Hyatt happens to have Privé, which is exactly what was booked and what is on my sheet for this hotel itself. So MasterCard booked the hotel. It shows up here as Hyatt Privé, which is their preferred hotel program. And that's how I'm getting all of the extra amenities. And when you check in, they have an envelope waiting for you that actually has your name, the date that you're checking in, and the Privé program. So you are definitely preferred. <laughs> You're a VIP when you come here because I was the only one with an envelope. That's right. If you have an envelope, you know your VIP status. On the welcome letter, you can see it's pretty much exactly the same as FHR. I mean, you're still getting the $100 credit. In this case, it's not just the $60 breakfast that I'm, I've been accustomed to over the past like four years of even, using FHR. I actually was able to get $75 in daily breakfast, which is $15 more. And I know that can vary from property to property, but this is the highest 
breakfast amount I've ever seen so far at one of these types of properties. So $175 in food credits for a 24 hour stay or sometimes less than a 24 hour stay depending on when you actually check in. So starting with the beginning, we got upgraded. <laughs> That's right, we got upgraded to the Andaz Loft, which is their, I believe, second to highest upgrade you could possibly get on this hotel itself. It was about a $100 upgrade. So it was about $330 to book this room. And you could see it's pretty nice. I mean, it may be about 300 350 square feet, something like that. So nothing huge, but this property also doesn't have any really, really big rooms itself. It's kind of a remodeled older property. So they don't have like expansive giant suites that kind of just make do with what they had or how they remodeled it. And you can see there's a snack bar here, which first time I've actually seen that some stuff at the snack bar was actually free. Like we got chips for free, water for free. Usually at these high ends of these snack bars, a lot of the stuff you actually have to pay for. You actually have this pretty cool balcony here. I think you called that a Juliet balcony. I'm not really sure some newish plantation blinds to get through and you could actually overlook the pool and the downstairs courtyard area of this hotel which i thought was pretty pretty cool oh. stop i'm squishing your head ah. <laughs> oh and i totally forgot to mention that i actually was able to get a Wait, you say actually a thousand times and i forgot to mention that i actually did get actually <laughs> actually actually i do i really say actually that much Yes, actually you do. Oh my God. So I texted the hotel just asking for late checkout and they gave me 4 p.m. late checkout, which is exactly the same amount as FHR would give you. Of course, not guaranteed, but so far me and Calvi have been, both been able to get either 4 p.m. checkout or 5 p.m. checkout. So good on that front too, 4 p.m. for this day. And that specifically, the $100 experience credit that we used at the on-site restaurant last night was freaking really good. <laughs> The hotel restaurant was called 22 Square, and it was very, very quiet. They actually don't have any music on whatsoever, and I think just me and maybe one other couple was in there at the same time. It's overlooking Ellis Square in downtown Savannah, and the menu has some really, really good options. And again, I have to stress, the service that I got at this restaurant, at this hotel itself, is top notch. Shout out to Kalia, who is the waitress here. She did an amazing job. If anybody from the Andaz is actually watching this, then shout out to Kalia. Of course, if we get a $100 experience credit, I mean, we're gonna make the most of it, right? So of course, we're getting the steak, we're getting the burger, we're getting the hush puppies, we're getting the uh, the rice fritters, we're getting everything you possibly do to get as close to that $100 amount as possible. And one mistake I made that they had caught was that I made a reservation on Open Table. And if you guys aren't familiar with Table, you can make reservations through, and you could set like certain allergies and whatnot all within that app so that whenever you go to a restaurant and use open table they can see your entire I don't know maybe allergy profile and what have you when I went to go sit down at this restaurant I did not let them know I had a reservation because there was no one there whatsoever but she actually caught that you know maybe five minutes into the stay you're like hey are you Anthony and I was like how do you know that she's like oh no you made the reservation right yes I was like oh yeah yeah wow so then she she, she came back and she said okay we went and made sure that the food that we were allergic to was not going to be cooked in the back room with the chefs. <laughs> so I really appreciated that she caught that, came to, about to us, and then actually made sure that that went through. So that was very, very cool because I didn't make any mention of it whatsoever. So a really, really good time. And you can see the actual bill right here, $90 and I think 14 cents it was. So right then and there before tip using 90% of our entire $100 experience credit. And this is like my main reason and why I really do think it makes sense to pay cash for a hotel like this if you're staying just one night, even maybe two nights, instead of paying with points. I mean, just do a little bit of math with me, right? Think about it. If I spend $230 for this hotel stay, theoretically, I could have cashed out maybe 23,000 chase points at one cent per point. Now I have $230 in cash and I could pay for this hotel stay. Okay, cool. So if I do it this way and I book through MasterCard and Hyatt Privé, I am getting $175 worth of food credits, right? The breakfast and the dinner. $175 minus the $230 that I spent for this hotel stay is about $55 out of pocket. And of course, this really does depend on who you are as people when you're traveling. Me and my wife typically like to stay at the hotel. We like a really good hotel experience, high levels of service, and we like to eat at the on-site restaurant. More often than not, the food that we've gotten at, really Hyatt specifically, but a lot of these high-end hotels have really, really good food itself. And you don't have to worry about, you know, going out and trying to find restaurants. And then even if you do find the restaurants that you think are good, have good reviews, we've sometimes gotten sick at some of those restaurants. So hotel restaurants have never steered us wrong, and we know it's a safe area, we know it's a good area, and we like to just, again, stay at the hotel, and eat at the on-site restaurant. So we are people that can fully take advantage of the $175 worth of credits. I know there are a ton of people out there who cannot, 
and then sure, it'll make sense to pay the 12,000 or the 15,000 points. But if we really think about a dollar amount, right? Like the 12,000 points or 15,000 points I could have actually used to book the stay would be about $120 to $150 in value but you're not getting the $100 dinner credit, you're not getting the $75 breakfast credit, you're not getting any of those different things. And if you're a person that is going to eat at all at the on-site restaurant, I think it just makes sense to pay cash. For me personally, it makes sense for one or two night stays to book cash every single day of the week, but that's just me. But don't forget that if you are paying cash, you also are getting a few other benefits, right? Because of course, you're paying cash, which means you're gonna be getting base points on all of the cash that you're paying associated with the hotel. So Hyatt specifically gives you five points per dollar spent for each dollar. So $230 times five is about 920 points, but you're getting some value back just by booking with cash. And you can imagine if this was a Hilton hotel, you know, you're getting 10 to 20 base points per dollar spent, or even marry a 10 to 10 plus points per dollar spent. Something to really think about. And then even beyond that, you're also gonna be getting multipliers by using the card to book and pay for the $230 stay so when i went downstairs i went and booked and pay and i asked him i was like hey can i use any card to pay this 230 dollar bill and he said yes which was contrary to what mastercard told me over the phone they said oh it has to be with a mastercard at the property like you have to use a mastercard even if you switch it but since it's booked through mastercard but they use the preferred program which is hyatt Privé. i think that disconnect is what allows us to use different things so i was able to check out and actually use my visa card to pay for this entire stay and in this case we actually paid with her world of hyatt visa card that's right and with that you're going to be getting an additional four points per dollar spent towards hyatt hotels and in this case since it's going to be the entire bill so it's going to be the 230 dollars plus all of the tips and gratuities all those different things that we built to the room that you would be paying for anyway if you're going out to another restaurant that night but now it's all being built to the room which means now i'm going to get that additional multiplier on it so it's about 277 dollars multiplied by the four points per dollar spent by using our hyatt card equals a little over 1100 points and if you combine that with the base points that i earned just by booking the hotel like i said earlier you're closing in on close to 2000 hyatt points just for this one literally 24 hour stay. And if you think about it, 2000 points is about one sixth of the cost of the points that I would have spent if I were to pay in all points for this hotel, right? 12,000 points. So if I just had a more expensive stay or if I did six of more of these stays, I'm basically giving myself and subsidizing future point stays by booking in cash. So pretty, pretty interesting, not too bad. And remember, if I was gonna book this exact same stay, but on Amex's FHR program, I would be forced to pay with an American Express card at checkout. In this case, since that disconnect I mentioned earlier, my theory is that you can use any card at checkout in this case. And since it doesn't have to be MasterCard, it could be Visa, it can be an Amex or any card that you have a welcome offer on. If it's built rent day, you get 2X points on everything. So the possibilities are kind of endless. And of course, this is just my first time doing it. So it allowed me to pay with Visa. So I'm gonna keep testing this over and over and over to make sure that that's consistent across the board. But at least we know definitely Amex pretty much 99% of the time forces you to use an Amex when you're paying at a FHR hotel. So something to think about as well. Hyatt points on the back end by using the base points by booking the hotel stay in cash. And then you're getting points also on the front end using a credit card and getting those associated points that could all funnel just future stays in the future. So I don't know, I, I think uh, it makes sense to pay cash a lot of the time between one and two day stays for hotels like this. And that's not even to mention on top of everything that Hyatt has their brand explorer, right? If you stay in five unique Hyatt hotels and their unique brands, every single five of them that you stay in, you'll be getting a free night certificate. And if you do it this way, as long as you tell MasterCard or you call up Hyatt and just add your loyalty number to that reservation, that will actually count towards your brand explorer. So you can see right here, the Andaz is a new location that I've stayed in, a new brand. And now I'm on the second tier of new brand brands to hit to get another free night certificate. So just icing on the cake that you can do that too. But that's not unique to MasterCard. You could do that with Amex too, but I'm just saying. <laughs> and of course, you guys know, I got a $75 breakfast credit, the most I've ever gotten before at any of these hotels. I'm gonna make the most of it, right? So we got all of these things right here and a very similar experience to dinner, the best I could have asked for. And since I'm in the South, I decided to, for the first time in my entire life, get the chicken and waffles. And I was really, really impressed actually. Those were really freaking good. And that's something I probably would get again. And if you look at the receipt right here, we were 
weren't able to use the full $75, but we were pretty damn close at $69, so not bad whatsoever. And this property specifically, you're paying a destination fee of $33. For the most part, you're not really getting too much at this specific property other than a welcome sangria when you walk in, <laughs> if you want it. And you could also do these bike rentals right here that could completely for free, you just have to sign a waiver, and you could take those out and then bring them back later, right? I mean... I don't think you could steal them, but you know, <laughs> you can go out, you can come back, and that's what you're paying that destination fee for. So if you're someone who's into bikes and you like this downtown area, I mean, that could also be very valuable to you. So as always, thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you so much.